A dissertation or research project will be one of the biggest pieces of independent work you'll ever do. And an important part of that work happens right at the start, the literature review. But what is a literature review and what does writing one involve? Let's find out. When academics and industry professionals conduct research, they usually publish that work in books, journal articles and conference proceedings. For the most part, this is the literature you need to review. But what exactly does that mean? A literature review is a written summary of research on a subject or topic of interest. In it, you'll discuss the strengths and weaknesses of the information you've found and describe why you think it's important. You might also want to discuss gaps in the literature gaps that your own research will attempt to fill. A literature review also sets the scene for your work. It places your research in context and shows how it relates to and builds upon the work of others. It's also your chance to tell people why your work matters, why it's relevant and how it contributes original research to your field. Importantly, a literature review also helps you find out how to do research. It shows you which research methods have worked in the past and which ones have not. This can be a big help when planning your own research strategy. The first step in a literature review is to conduct an information search. Take a closer look at your research question and try to identify important themes and concepts. Then, for each concept, try to come up with a list of targeted keywords to search for. We've created a range of videos and online resources to help you do just this, so be sure to check them out. Once you have a list of relevant keywords, try them out in library search. This is a great starting point for your research and one of the best places to find quality information from lots of different sources and subject areas. And don't forget, you can use advanced search techniques to find phrases, exclude words and limit your results by date, location and language. When you're happy with the information you've found on library search, move on to your specialist subject databases and try your keyword searches again. In case you don't know where to start, we've put together a list of the databases for your subject and how best to search them. You'll find this on your library subject guide. When you're planning your literature search, you also need to think about the types of information you want to find. This is likely to include traditional academic materials such as books and journal articles, but there are a lot of other types of information out there too. For example, depending on your topic, you might want to use newspaper articles, official publications, trade journals, market research reports, special collections, images, data sets, and even television programmes or interviews. The possibilities are endless. Whatever your focus, remember that Google and Google Scholar are rarely the best search tools to use. A lot of scholarly articles and resources aren't freely available online, and Google can't index every specialist database. Fortunately, the library pays for access to hundreds of specialist resources chosen by your school. All you need to search them is your Newcastle University login. The first person you need to impress with your literature review will be your supervisor. He or she will want to see a thorough, well-structured review, one that introduces your topic, discusses important background information and builds a solid case for your research. Your supervisor will also want to see evidence that you've done your homework and read widely, and that you have a broad understanding of important issues in your field. To do this, you'll need to ask questions of the literature and critically evaluate the information you find. Ask yourself. Is the information relevant to your own work? Is it up to date? Is it authoritative, accurate, reliable and unbiased? Has it been peer reviewed? What contribution does it make to your subject and how will it inform your own work going forward? Remember, just because a piece of information has been published doesn't mean it's any good. A literature review is not just something you do at the start of a research project and then forget about. New research is published every day and your work is likely to take you down paths you hadn't thought about initially. You'll need to frequently return to and adapt your search and then update your literature review as you go. 
Of course, once you find information, you'll also need to cite and reference it correctly. Your school or supervisor can advise you how to do this, but you'll also find plenty of help on the library referencing guide. You'll also find advice on reference management tools such as EndNote, which you can use to keep track of and automatically format your references. The library is here to help you get access to information, wherever that information is. So, if you find a reference to a book we don't have in stock, just let us know and we'll try to borrow it from another library. We might even be able to order it in for you. And here's a great tip. If you're away from Newcastle during the holidays or simply want to access an archive or collection at another library, you can usually go visit them. Just register online with Sconnell Access Scheme to find out more. Compared to essays and assignments, a research project or dissertation will be a real step up in terms of scale and content. You'll need to show it respect and commit a lot of time to it. You can't just dash it off in a few days. So, if you're not normally a very organised person, now is the time to change that. Draw up a project plan and spread your workload sensibly. Work out what you're going to do, how you're going to do it and when. Identify weekly targets. Build in time for things to go wrong and always assume that things will take longer than you think. They always do. And remember, there are lots of ways to get help and advice. Your supervisor will be your main contact throughout, but we've also developed some great tools at the library to help enhance your research skills and focus your search. And if you need help with writing and academic skills, the library's Writing Development Centre is also on hand to help. Good luck 